Hi Scorpio, this is your February 26th through March 3rd weekly. Tarot reading will have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. The first spread is new love coming towards you. The second spread is for those of you who are already involved with somebody. Then we'll do a love from the past spread. After that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is a new love this week. We have uh, the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, clarified by Strength. We have the Star. In the potential outcome, we have the Wheel of Fortune with uh, the Chariot and the Eight of Wands, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, uh, Cancer, maybe a Sagittarius, or any Zodiac sign. Well, what I can tell you right away, I can tell you a couple of things right away. This person has something to do with the way you make your money, okay? And um, every card in the potential outcome could be interpreted as a card of travel or relocation. All right? <laughs> so in the potential outcome, you either have a relocation coming up or you guys could be traveling together um, or something along those lines. Or perhaps you're into cars, you're into travel. Perhaps both of you could travel together and make money this way. Okay, but uh, this person has something to do with the way you make your money already now. We start with the Three of Pentacles all the way to your left, clarified by the Seven of Swords. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Both the Three and the Eight of Pentacles could be interpreted as cards of work, business, and finances. Okay, so this is either somebody who works with you or who works in the same building with you. Somebody who is in the same industry with you. Okay, they could be working for another company, or you could be meeting this person at some kind of a conference, work-related, business-related conference, or something among those lines. Alright, uh, the Seven of Swords, <laughs> clarifying the Three of Pentacles. Uh, this is not a very positive card, to be honest with you, but um, I think in this case, the Seven of Swords, this is you guys seeing each other, and you're not telling anybody that you're seeing each other. And by anybody, I mean people you work with, people who work in the same industry. You're keeping it under wraps. It could be against the company policy or it could be inappropriate. There could be like a conflict of interest for some of you, um, right? But that's what I think the Seven of Swords is about. You're seeing each other, you're dating, you're going out, but you're not like telling anybody that the two of you are together. At some point, you will have to. At some point, you'll have to, right? Because uh, right next to that, the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Six of Wands, clarified by Strength. We also have the Star, right? Uh, the Six of Wands is a card of like victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. Strength card, clarifying that, could be interpreted many different ways. Okay, strength could be a Leo. You know, strength could be a card of somebody holding back, but at the same time, it could be a card of somebody having to have courage. Perhaps this is you guys having to have courage to announce to the whole wide world that the two of you are together. <laughs> okay, um, the star right, uh, right there in the middle could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a card of a wish come true. You know, this is a card of when something people usually wish for or hope for for a very long time. Or like I said, it could be an Aquarius you're dealing with. And yeah, going back to that potential outcome, all travel cards, or they could be interpreted as such. Okay. As a matter of fact, uh, the the uh, the chariot and the eight of wands are the two fastest cards in the deck. The two fastest cards in the deck. The wheel of fortune is also a pretty speedy card. So for some of you, like I said, it's travel. For others of you, it's relocation. Um, or the two of you will this connection will simply take off like a rocket. That's another way I can interpret that. But those are really positive cards, good cards, right? The Wheel of Fortune is a very good card. The word fortune is there for a reason. This is when things turn around for the better. The chariot is also a card of victory and success, just like the six of ones, right? And uh, the chariot is a card of moving forward and not looking back. Let me know how this plays out for you. Um, Scorpio, I'm kind of curious myself because this is a this is a unique spread, right? Again, this is somebody somehow associated with your work, with your business, with what have you, and uh, in the future you have travel or relocation. <laughs> That's how I see this. All right, really happy for you, Scorpio. Congratulations. If you are already in a relationship, or if you are already married, uh, Scorpio, this spread is for you. We have uh, the Queen of Wands, clarified by Judgment. 
Then we have uh, the Ten of Wands clarified by Death. We also have the Five of Swords clarified by Justice. And the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign here, is there Sagittarius? I don't know who this Queen of Wands is to you, your person, or both of you, but this person is back. This is somebody from your past, and this person is a troublemaker. Or they're going to cause issues, right? When this person shows back up, it's you will feel like it's a burden for you, and you may have to um, do something about it. Like, the, some take you even take legal action against this person for some of you, okay? But uh, yeah, this Queen of Wands is coming back. They're clarified by Judgment. Judgment is a card of somebody from the past. Then we have the Two of Wands clarified by Death. Death is your major arcana card. The Ten of Wands is a card of a burden. So this person showing up, showing back up, is going to be a burden for you, Scorpio. I hate to say that, but that's what it is. With the Five of Swords clarified by Justice, yeah, you may even have to, you know, take a legal action against this person. Okay? Um... Hopefully it's nothing bad, nothing too serious, but the Five of Swords with Justice, yeah, you will have to fight this person off. You know, file a complaint or, I don't know, do something about it. With the Five of Swords, it's never pretty with the Five of Swords. This is when people get into fights. And Justice could be the legal system. Or perhaps this is what this person deserves with the Justice card. Alright, so be, be on the lookout of uh, this Queen of Wands, most likely a fire sign. Here is near Sagittarius. Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for your Scorpio this week. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be the most recent X. Uh, we have uh, the Knight of Cups clarified by the Page of Cups. We have the Five of Cups clarified by the Six of Cups. <laughs> then we have uh, the King of Swords clarified by uh, the Magician. And uh, we also have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We also have Virgo. And uh, we most likely have you. I gotta be honest with you, Scorpio, right? The first four cards on the left, they are all Cups cards. Water sign indicator, and uh, Scorpio, you are a water sign. <laughs> and the King of Swords showed up at the very last moment. That was the last card that came out. So I think for some of you, if not for most of you, this is you thinking about reaching out to them, okay? Or it could be the other way around. But again, since we have all the cops cards <laughs> in the beginning, it could be you, okay? So if that's the case, I think, uh, yeah, go ahead and give it a shot. I don't see any rejections. I, I don't, right? Uh, the King of Swords is the person you're dealing with. So it could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, uh, this is somebody who is uh, very intelligent, right? Somebody who could be like a lawyer or a doctor or somebody who wears uniform for work. Uh, the Magician clarifying the King of Swords is a, either a Gemini or a Virgo card. The Magician is a card of um, manifestation and taking action. It's not a negative card. It could be a negative card if it's surrounded by cards such as like Three of Swords or Five of Swords, right? In that case, the Magician could be a card of a trickster. <laughs> but since we don't have those cards on the table, I think the Magician is a positive card. All right, so this person may be open to trying different ways to work things out with you because the Magician's got all the tools they need at their disposal. So those different tools could be different ways to work things out with you. Right, so, it, and for some of you, it doesn't even have to be an X, you know, because we do have the Six of Cups and the Five of Cups. Both cards have to do with the past, but not necessarily an X. All right, uh, Scorpio, if you're not feeling like reaching out to, some, to this person, then they could be reaching out to you. But, uh, uh, like I said, for the fifth time, I, for most of you, I think this is you initiating this. All right, cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Scorpio, this week. We have Strength, the Ace of Swords, uh, the Eight of Cups, clarified by the World, and we also have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with the Leo, or absolutely any zodiac sign. Well, a very spe special, very specific reading. This whole reading so far for you, Scorpio, is very unique. This will most likely resonate if you are either getting ready to quit or quitting this week. Yeah. And um, for some of you, it may require courage. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, some of you already have another job lined up. Others of you could be thinking about starting your own business because uh, we do have the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is a, it's an offer or a golden opportunity. All right. But uh, we start with Strength and uh, the Ace of Swords. Strength could be a Leo. Strength could be a card of courage. And the Ace of Swords, this is a very decisive energy. With the Ace of Swords, people say, yes, that's how it's going to be. All right. And the Eight of Cups, clarified by the world, this is you leaving. The Eight of Cups is a card of somebody leaving, yeah, and I assume that's you. The world clarifying the Eight of Cups is a card of an ending, or a card of uh, someplace remote. All right, some of you could uh, quit and go travel, okay? <laughs> For others of you, the world is simply an ending, but I always interpret the world as a happy end card. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end, and a much better chapter of your life is about to begin, and uh, the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a confirmation of that. Something much better... Is, uh, is out there for you. Like I said, for some of you, you already have a job lined up. For others of you, you may start your own business. Okay? So you'll, but you will have to have courage to pull this off, to pull this through, to go through with this. And I think it's going to be worth it. All right? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Scorpio. We have the Ace of Wands, clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the King of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, you could be dealing with an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. This will most likely resonate with uh, male or masculine Scorpios. I think you're the king of cups here, and you're dealing with this queen of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. What you're not expecting is a very passionate encounter <laughs> with this queen of pentacles. Especially if you're thinking about going out at some point during this week. Okay? Yep. <laughs> so the uh, um, the Ace of Wands, the first card I came out, is all about passion, if you know what I mean. Um, the Three of Cups right next to the deck uh, is a card of a celebration. So, But it could be any celebration. It could just be you going to a happy hour after work with the co-workers, or you going to some kind of an event, and it could the nature of, the event, of this event could be absolutely anything. Right, as long as I think there is uh, adult beverage consumption involved, that's uh, I, don't, I never promote that, but that's just what I see here. Especially the Seven of Cups, that card could be interpreted as a card of, you know, adult beverage consumption. Okay, <laughs> so that's what you're not expecting. All right, and uh, that's what I have for you, Scorpio, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Scorpio, have an amazing week.